folks welcome back time for an update on the abandoned mobile home project here um, if you want to see what uh, I've been doing for the last month or so stick around all right folks so it's been a while since I've posted a video um, been working on the uh, new roof here for this mobile home and uh, I'll just show you what I've got done here so my my plan was to actually record this whole process of putting the new roof on but uh, I'll tell you you know I was I'm working on this by myself and up on that tin roof it was just really kind of sketchy and uh, I wasn't comfortable recording up there so instead of the video um, at the end of this video there's uh, there'll be a photo montage of uh, you know photos that I took during the process but um, you know I'm just going to show you the finished job here and kind of explain to you how I did it and uh, you know so hopefully you'll understand how uh, you know how I, how I did it here but you know originally you can see now how this whole end has changed and if you go back to some of our other videos you know this is a 1984 I think it is model you know so the front of this was very uh, dated looking and you know this is the updated look now with the new window and you know the new fascias uh, we only had an overhang on the front we had some kind of a weird gable thing there and if you remember we had a big ugly old vent up in the middle up there and that's all gone now um, you know, we've changed the lighting we're gonna have lighting on either side now I decided to go with wall sconces but the main thing that we did to modernize this was to you know install this uh, this overhang here and uh, I'll just take you around the side here um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you up on the roof and I'll show you you know show you the roof there um, but you can see you know down the down the side here now we have overhang so that's gonna be getting soffits but you know it's really changed the look of this little home here uh, to, you know to make it look more like a modular home instead of a trailer home model uh, mobile home and uh, you know as you can see there how it's coming along and I'm ready now for soffits and siding so that's uh, what's up next and so the uh, roof that we went with here was is a uh, what's called an architectural style um, it's an asphalt roof uh, it's a fiberglass reinforced so it's a laminate roof but uh, yeah it gives you a look at it just you know really it really changed the look to get rid of that old metal roof but uh, yeah through this whole process that it was it's been you know we've it's just cooling off now it's the first week of September kids are back to school and stuff now and uh, you know we've had it every day has been well over 30 degrees celsius so uh up there you know it was like 40 and it just it was a really tough it was a tough job to do that on my own and so i just couldn't record it was slippery that tin was slippery and uh you know i just uh put safety over the videos and uh but you should be able to get a pretty good idea of what i got what i did here so uh, I'm going to set up the uh, ladder and I'll take you up on top and I'll explain to you kind of how we did here. Yeah, so the front had an overhang, but it was like a gable. And so what I ultimately decided on as far as overhang is uh, I went with 13 inches. So it's 13 inches from, you know, from the wall to the outside of that 2x4 there. And once the, the the vinyl siding goes on, the vinyl siding and the J and everything is about an inch thick. So that's going to leave me with a, uh, a, t a 12 inch overhang and when I'm finished. And then uh, we're also going to have a, uh, a, a 6 inch fascia gutter which is going to add you know, another bit of uh, over onto the overhang there. So it's going to make it a little bit bigger. So, you know, we're going to end up with about a, you know, roughly a 16, 17 inch, you know, that, that fascia gutter uh, slopes. So I think on the bottom it's about four inches. And so now, you know, we've got this, uh, this all here. And 
how I did that was just simply, you know, I put the OS, I put a layer of 7 16 OSB over top of the uh, tin, the old tin roof. And if you go up here, you'll see places here where the tin is still poking through. So there you can see up inside there that's the, that's the old tin roof there it was that used to wrap around and uh, get, got attached to a molding but when I put that first row on um, I just let it stick over that my to get my 13 inches that's all I did it's just hung it over and then I put this uh, 2 by 4 which is what's called a sub fascia this one that's going along this way and this roof is a 412 pitch so that that's an 18 degree um 18 degree angle that i cut on the top of that and i just all i did was just screw it with some two and a half inch uh, construction screws through the osb uh i screwed it screwed that into the two by four and so my because i cut the top on the slope you can see that my two by four is nice and straight uh, that board there is just there to protect the the uh, shingles when I had the ladder up against that that will be coming off and so then once I I had that 2x4 installed there it was just basically hanging off the edge of that uh, 7 16 OSB then I framed it back so every 16 inches I framed it back with a piece of 2x4 you can see how I've done that okay and then just screwed it into the wall up there it just it just goes back level and then in between each of those two by fours i put a piece of two by two and that's basically for backing for my soffit so that's the next job up uh is the soffits and uh you know now that i'm down on the ground again i'll uh you know i'll start recording the process of the you know actually doing the work but like i say it was just too much uh, to, to record this with the heat and everything i mean i was here early in the morning and you know trying to beat the sun and it was just yeah it was it was a brutal job the last month here and uh, so the soffit will get nailed onto this 2x4 here sub fascia and then it'll get nailed to that 2x2 uh, uh, two two. so I'm going to be showing you exactly how that new soffit is installed and now once we get the soffit installed then uh, the siding is going to come up and you can see I've installed a, uh, a drip edge, okay, and again in the photo montage at the end you'll see that drip edge and how it goes up and back under the shingles. And then I installed a starter strip and, uh, you know, I let it hang over an inch, the, sh the shingles hang over an inch past, and so now that will drain nicely into the new gutter that's going to be going down here eventually. So that new gutter is called a fascia gutter and so it's a combination of a fascia and a gutter and it will be covering that raw wood that you see there the raw two by four and so that will finish that then and it'll also cover the edge of this of the soffit as well now another little thing that i like to do on my jobs is uh, i like to do these little wings on my uh, fascias on the end okay and there you can see it there so what I do is I let that fascia come past uh, the eave uh, six inches and now what will happen is when the uh, fascia gutter when the fascia gutter goes on it will go up to that and be concealed behind so that when you look at it from this angle okay from this angle and you won't see the end of the gutter you'll see you'll see this, this fascia all the way up there and again my shingles you know i've left my shingles hang over the the uh the, well it's called a rake um an inch so i've had my shingles overlap an inch all the way around you see how i framed this again i just let it sit i just let it when i put the osb board on i just went over a foot or 13 inches sorry and then put that first uh, two by four on there, which was the sub fascia. Okay, and then I put this other one on the wall, and then I just framed it in between. And uh, that, you know, that is very, very uh, sturdy. Uh, you can go up and stand on the edge of that up there, and it will not move. It's like very, very solid. 
so um, like in normal construction your rafter tails would come down off of your truss okay and then that would support your subfascia and that overhang but here um, by doing it this way what we've done is we've created a little right angle triangle and, and that is very solid Okay, and then uh, before we put the shingles on, then, then I installed that, uh, I used a 1x8 um, smart trim board and just nailed that onto that subfascia and then put the, and then put the uh, shingles on top of that. Alright, and so that board up there is the same size as my skirt board down here. Okay, and so that's all 8 inch, that one, and that one, and then my window trim is 6 inch, and so it just kind of ties it all together. Um, now, uh, there's a couple changes from what I was talking about here. Originally, I was going to put a uh, covered roof over this little porch here, but I uh, discovered that the way I was going to do that in the intersecting roof uh, was going to create a problem with my with my HVAC uh, vent up on the roof it was going to my HVAC vent was going to end up being right like in that roof and so I've decided I, I decided to get rid of that just going to leave this open and we've also done the same thing on the deck okay originally I was going to install a uh, roof on the deck and you can see uh, there is no no roof on the deck okay we decided to scrap that uh, it was becoming an, a logistical nightmare to get that done with permitting and time and supply chain issues and everything else um, so I just uh, I just, just decided to get rid of it um, also uh, in the interest of trying to keep this home more affordable um, you know the prices of housing it are just really gone crazy around here uh, I decided to to eliminate that roof you know with the trees and stuff around here we have uh, you know lots of trees so we get lots of shade uh, you know no, no problem with that the Sun really only shines in there you know for a couple of hours in the morning and then by the time the Sun comes around you know it's shaded by these this tree here so uh, you know we don't didn't really need it also it's you know it's nice to sit on there and uh, you know look up to the sky and you know look see the trees and you lose all of that when you put the cover on it so uh, the cover is nice but like I say we we just, just we decided to scrap it uh, just because of the interest of time and costs and and uh, everything else so now this uh, this deck's just gonna get a black railing around it now and that, that'll be it all right so I'll take you up on top okay so so now we're up on top here, and uh, I'll just show you the finished job here. We've got some construction going on across the creek there. That's what that noise is that you hear. So, yeah, this is a nice roof now. It's very solid. Uh, I used a uh, Owen Coring. Owen Coring's uh, product. Uh, this particular batch came out of Portland, Oregon. Color is uh, onyx black. All right, so you can just see how this is cleaned up compared to, you know, what it was with the with the uh, old tin roof. It's much nicer to walk up here now. Much more solid. Uh, you can see. This area here, there's something missing, uh, and it's the vent for our, our furnace. Uh, we're still here, haven't even been able to get anybody to come out and have a look at my HVAC job. I did that work, you know, a month or so, a couple months ago, to get ready for the furnace, because uh, I was hoping to be able to coordinate the, uh, the vent in with my roofing. And like I say, haven't even been able to get anybody to come out, it's just crazy. Um, so hopefully, I mean, it's first week of September, it's getting to the point now where, you know, it won't be too much longer and it could be looking for some heat in there. But, uh, 
anyways I just shingled over it and once we get that sorted out with the HVAC then I'll have to come back up here and uh, install the uh, the roof jack for the vent but um, yeah I, I've uh, previous videos the, these these four pipes here we got this one here one back there and then we got that one there and over there that one down there those are the plumbing vents that's how they've they've turned out okay so it gives you an idea how those look uh so this one remember was down inside it was caved in i went up at the front there was short and so i fixed all that up um i installed those two bathroom fans i have another video about that so this is this is how it's ended up on the roof this is the termination for the uh the bathroom fan this is the one the ensuite i got another one up there for the main bathroom and uh, before we had those big whirlies for ventilation so I'm gonna do another I'm gonna do the next video I'm gonna explain the ventilation so we had those big whirlies down there and uh, we eliminated those I don't like those things and instead we've installed these uh, five roof vents along the ridge here and then we've also installed soffit venting underneath so uh, you have to be careful when you do a job like this and you make a major change like this with the roof that you don't cut off your ventilation. You have to make sure that you maintain your ventilation. And uh, I'll explain that in the next video in detail. Uh, it's important to, uh, you know, if you're going to do something like that, you're going to have to watch that. Okay, and uh, this little guy here, this is the, uh, the exhaust vent for the... Uh, the uh, range hood fan exhaust fan before it went out the wall so now I've got it coming out the roof here so the shingling itself uh, you know I did it my, myself and it took me it took me about five days to do my own shingling and uh, you know working away and again I mean it was just crazy hot up here but uh, yeah so that's uh, that's the finished product up here and so my big pile of wood that I had in here that I had salvaged you know from my the tear down of the uh, addition of stuff you can see now it's all gone uh, you know I had uh, I had salvaged, salvaged that to uh, you know use it to build this uh, this roof but um, you know since I decided not to I'm gonna leave it open here um, I sold all that lumber and it's going to uh, a fellow took it and he's gonna build a little uh, art studio on his property and so that that pile of lumber that was here I got almost six hundred and fifty dollars for it so uh, he was happy to get it that was about half the price of the what it was going to cost him to go and buy it at the lumber yard and I was happy to get rid of it and yeah so now we're clean in here um, so there we go folks that's the update and uh, yeah if you're interested in how uh, I handled the ventilation that's going to be in, in the next video so uh, my thanks for watching and uh, we should have some more videos coming in a little bit more regularly now uh, next up, like I said, I've got to do a little bit of painting first. I'm going to get all my painting, exterior painting done before I install my soffit and siding so I'm not painting up against them. But uh, uh, yeah, so, so soffit is up next and then we're going to be doing the siding. And uh, yeah, by the end of the month, I hope to be pretty much wrapped up outside. Uh, and then going into October, I'm going to take a little bit of time off. I've got some company coming and uh, we're going to spend some time visiting. But uh, then we'll also be doing the railings on the deck. So, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, you, if you uh, want to follow us on this project, we have a playlist. Uh, I'll put it at the end of the video here and in the description. And uh, you can see, you know, where we came from uh, to, to where we are now. So, thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.